All right, we are just about a month away before the tax deadline arrives. Yeah, you know the old saying about death and taxes. Well, there's <laughs> one more certainty to add. No one wants to be audited by the IRS. So how do you avoid that? Well, new this morning, John Shumway is looking into it for you. And, and you know, this is the thing that we really need answers for because it is a dreaded Oh. letter that you can get. I've gotten it before. It was years oh, ago. Really? Yeah. Oh, did, oh really? <laughs> really? I did. It, was all, it wasn't anything <laughs> serious, just to clarify, but still, I mean, it's it's like, oh, your heart sinks. Right. Yeah. It is, it's scary. Just flat out scary. Nothing is ironclad when it comes to taxes and audits, but you can decrease your already slim odds of being audited. There's nothing like the cringe factor when it's a letter from the IRS lying in wait in the mailbox. It's still less than 1% of people that are audited. TurboTax CPA and tax expert Lisa Green Lewis says not every letter from the IRS is an audit notice. There are things called adjustment letters. People panic when they get anything from the IRS. Those come when you made a math error or left off some minor income. On that score, tax expert Michael Herzog of Eckert Siemens says, make sure you gather everything. That you have all of your W-2s, all of your 1099s, that includes your interest and dividend statements. Because the IRS knows what you've been getting in the mail. Miss one and... That will immediately generate a mismatch of the income and you will likely then receive a letter from the IRS. Claiming donations? Be careful. There are huge donations um, deducted compared to like the amount of income you make. Um, that could be a red flag. And even if your donations don't seem like a huge amount of money. They have a general sense on all of the similarly situated taxpayers. What is the average charitable deduction? And if yours is significantly higher than that average, that'll immediately will generate a red flag for the service. Yeah, and remember, the idea is to fly below the IRS audit radar. The agency is stepping up enforcement. And here's one, the more money you make, the better your chances that you're going to be audited. All right, but the... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So the IRS computers, do they actually compare you to other people? Absolutely. <laughs> Basically, you take a bunch of people and, okay, so this is how much mm -hmm. they make. They put them in that range. This is how much they normally give for a charitable donation. Well, if your number is above that average, boom, it's a red flag at the IRS. And then your name so, pops up and yeah. it's like, yep. And you don't know what those averages are. You no. know, you're just no. an honest citizen claiming what you claim. Exactly. Watch right, out. We don't got want more to coming up. <laughs> yeah, we got more right. coming up. We're going to talk about tax credits. We're going to talk about business expenses. Uh, so coming much up. we have yet to know. Oh, yes. John, we appreciate thank you. It.